I just woke up. I'm so tired, guys, but the grind don't stop. The grind never stops, guys. I'm grateful. I'm I'm literally I can't even <laughs> I just woke up, guys, and I'm so tired. I should uh I should literally should even be sleeping in the evening, but it is what it is. I had a nice nap. I kept having like some gospel song in my mind. I would like I literally slept thinking about the song. I woke up and the song was still in my head. I'm going to put the link in the descriptions for you guys that want to see this song as well. If you're a Christian like me, even if you're not a Christian, you might actually like vibe with the song. It's a sick song. I'll be so real. But um I just quickly wanted to speak about how certain certain people <clears throat> And that's the thing, I hate talking about other people. I hate, like, because it makes me look like the bad guy. It makes me look like the enemy. Because it's just like, oh, I'm gossiping about this person. But the sad truth to the matter is that certain people are hindering our lives. Like, you, you won't even realise it, but some people have a bad eye for you, like, some people don't want you to grow. They'll keep watching you. They'll they'll keep watching your videos. They'll keep watching you post your your stories and stuff like that on Instagram or social media. But really and truly, they they just have bad intentions for your life. Like they want you to suffer. They want you. They want you to go through turmoil. They want to see you go down. They don't want you to upgrade their life to a point that's greater than theirs. If anything, at that point, they're jealous of you. They want to be you, but they can't. And because they can't be you, when you surround yourself around them, they start to drain your energy. They start to become negative. But I can't blame the physical per. I literally... Back in the day, I used to always blame, like, the actual person. I used to blame the physical person, like Tom, Dick, or Harry. I, I used to always blame the person, not knowing that there's something or some... There's something. I don't really want to say someone, because spirits are, like... I'm not too sure if spirits have, like, a he or... Of course spirits have a he or she. <laughs> but sometimes they're being controlled by something or someone... And it's like nine times out of ten it's a demon. And they're using their vessel like to attack you. To to get at you, to put you down, to bring you down. Most of the time these people are just they're just normal human beings like me and you. But because their their flesh is so weak, it's so easy for their, their flesh to be controlled. It's like you know, like when you have wet dreams, most people just think, oh, I'm just, it's just a wet dream, right? Where they don't actually see what happens like behind the scenes and stuff like that. Where you're being attacked, but not really attacked, but you're being forced. Or at least I would even say attacked, you're being like attacked by someone or something spiritual in your dream and... Only for the people that are spiritually strong. That's why I always like enforce for you guys to build your relationship with God. Only for people that are spiritually strong. Those are the type of people that are like, they're able to withstand or like prevent themselves from being consumed or engulfed by these spiritual darknesses. Usually they call them like succubuses or like the Jezebel and stuff like that. <laughs> I think the the succubus is what enters your dream. The Jezebel is just she's just for the street. <laughs> she's just for the streets. But um it's it's insane like how like demons and how like spiritual wickedness can use people to like attack you. It could be your family, your friends, loved ones, your neighbors anyone literally it could even be people in your church your pastor it could be any, literally anyone a stranger on the street a homeless person sometimes the devil could just use them to like 
And there's even cases where like some homeless people, and I hate I hate to say this because I love to give to everyone, despite whether they're good or bad. I don't know, my energy is just like that. I just like to give to everyone. I love everyone, despite them being good or bad. I just I just tend to love everyone equally. But like some homeless people, you can give them change. And the change they like, if you give it to them physically with your hand, like you give it to them in their hand, coins, especially coins. Sometimes they can like use that to like transmute negative spiritual energy into your life and stuff like that. To like make you broke, financially broke, emotionally drained and stuff like that. That's insane. Like we, this is a reason why we need to train our spiritual side because by doing so, we're like investing, we're building ourselves up so that we can fight off these demons, these spiritual things. These things are trying to control our vessels and stuff like that. You guys should watch this film. It's called Divination. It's literally called Divination. I think it came out in like 2011 or something like that. You guys definitely should watch this film. I'm not saying it's real speculations. Obviously, it's just a film. But that's as close as, like, it gets to how, like, demons and stuff like that control people, how angels are protecting God's people. <laughs> Build your spirit, guys. I can't address this enough. Baby steps run ma get a marathon to run towards it sprint you same boat towards that well build your spirit guys build your spirit i've taught i've literally i've given you guys a few a few ways to like build your your spirit to build your temple of god praying fasting reading the bible Ensuring you're eating the right types of foods, the right types of supplements, exercising, keeping yourself clean. These are all like, they're all literally, there's Bible references to all these things. I just, um, I hope someone can take some value from this. It's not easy, guys. I understand it's not easy. But you're not doing it for me, you're doing it for yourself, you're doing it for your families, you're doing it to protect your your generation, your kingdom to come. Have a blessed day guys, it's been your boy Paul Kadar.